G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Millions of people throughout the world love smoked salmon. It is absolutely delicious, but it's also very easy to make at home and you can infuse it with your own flavors. So join me today as I show you how to smoke a salmon. Now we need to start this off by curing our salmon overnight, preferably for at least eight hours. So what I'm going to do is, into a glass bowl, I'm going to place in a quart or one liter or four cups of chilled water, preferably filtered if you can. Then to that, one cup of brown sugar, followed by a third a cup of kosher salt. Now in Australia, it's actually hard to find labeled kosher salt, but what you can use is cooking salt. It's basically a medium grain coarse salt. So table salt is just too small to use and rock salt's too thick. The medium coarse is perfect for curing meat. And now for a little bit of sweetness, I'm going to also add half a cup of maple syrup. And give it a good mix around just to combine. Okay, so next we want a nice fresh piece of salmon. And what I want you to do is just run your hands just along, just like so. Just to double check that there are no bones left. If you happen to find any bones, just simply use some tweezers to pull them out. Because they're only be very, very small. Okay, so as you can see, I've tipped our liquid out of the container. So we're going to place our salmon into our bowl. And I'll do it this way because I'd rather have more salt on the top than the bottom. So place it in skin side down, then we're going to pour our brine mixture on top. Now don't worry about those little specks of the dark stuff, that's just from some of the undissolved brown sugar. So what this is going to do is over the next eight hours it's going to draw a lot of the moisture out of the salmon and it'll also help salt the salmon as well. And with the maple syrup it's also going to give it a, a slight Sweetness that really does work fantastic. So just simply place it in the fridge for a good eight hours or overnight. Okay, so I've just taken it out of the fridge and it's been soaking overnight. So it's had a chance to remove a lot of the juices and the water level has risen it slightly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab our fish and I'm going to give it a good rinse under cold water. Now once you've given it a good rinse with some paper towel, we're going to pat it dry on both sides. You want to be as dry as you can possibly get it. Okay, next we're going to use a wire rack and just with some cooking spray oil, just give it a quick grease just on top, just to stop the fish from sticking. Then we're going to place our fish just onto there and we're going to let it sit there for about say three to four hours. Now ideally you want to put a fan on it because that'll actually help circulate the air. But what it's going to do is it's going to create like a thin layer on the outside of the fish. It's like a sticky layer, but that does two things. It helps seal the fish, but it's also going to help the smoke flavor attach to the fish. And don't worry about it sitting at room temperature for that long because the salt inside the fish will protect it. So in about three to four hours, the fish will be ready to smoke as soon as you have that sticky outer layer. Now I've had our salmon at room temperature for about three hours now. and I've also had a fan on it. It just sort of speeds up the process. And just by touching it, it's slightly sticky, but you can also feel how it's been sealed on the outside. So now it's ready to put onto our smoker. Now for my wood, I'm using a mixture of apple and cherry. But you can also use oak or maple, it's really up to you. Just feel free to experiment with different flavours. Now once ready, it's just a simple matter of placing our fish onto our smoker. And we're going to smoke our salmon for about 6 hours. But for a little bit of extra sweetness and keeps it slightly moist, I'm going to baste it every hour starting from the first hour in just a little bit of maple syrup. It's not necessary, but trust me, give it a go because it really does work fantastic. Okay, so our salmon has been on for the first hour, and as you can see, it's already starting to get a lovely smoke. So just with a little bit of maple syrup, I'm just going to just brush a very thin layer just over the top, just so it's evenly coated. And we're going to let that smoke away for a further five hours, and remember, each hour, just give it a quick baste with some maple syrup. Now I've just taken our salmon off the smoker, and look at that lovely smoked colour. It has really penetrated this piece of fish. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit here at room temperature for about an hour. Then I'm going to wrap it up in some plastic wrap, place it in the fridge, and it'll be good for up to seven days. So you already have a lovely piece of fish, penetrated with that delicious smoke flavor. And with a bit of sweetness of that maple syrup, put all that together and this smoked salmon's going to taste simply delish. 
And the best part about doing it at home is you know exactly what's in it and you can make it exactly how you like it. Also another added option with the brine is add a couple of bay leaves for that little bit of extra flavour. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favour by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.